Alrighty, so we're back with this same model here, our first one. And you can see I trimmed up the gingiva all the way around, so we have a nice exposure of the prep all the way around. Looks pretty sweet. Another nice thing about this view is you can see from the stone, you still get to see those diamond marks in the stone, even though I'm not using die stone and a vacuum mixer. Like to like to use a whip mix sometime. I think it'd be fun. Um, do use Wonder Add Mix to help keep the bubbles to a minimum. Helps a lot. That's part of the reason why that stone is so nice and shiny. You can see that right there. Um, but uh, you can see the diamond marks on there, which makes it easier to distinguish between the prep tooth that you see up here. You can see the diamond marks in that, and the unprepped tooth down here and the gingiva and that's really handy to sometimes sometimes that's all you have to work with to tell the difference between prep tooth particularly on an equigingival shoulder margin if a nice shoulder margin like this if it's equigingival with the gums sometimes the only thing you have to distinguish between tooth and gums is the texture so you'd just be looking at the diamond marks versus smooth or stippling on nice healthy gums Find the pause button.